Hey, what is going on guys? This is SMBB Reviews, and today we are taking a look at the new album from Brian Adams titled Shine a Light. Let's get to it. Brian Adams is an artist that never necessarily made really innovative music. He never came up with some ideas that were way out of left field, but that doesn't mean that he didn't make some solid stuff. Everything I do, I do it for you, and Summer of 69 are two classic rock staples, and if you enjoy that brand of soft rock and, and ballad-esque sort of music, yeah, Brian Adams absolutely carves his niche and, and sticks to it. And that is one thing that can be commended, is that he's always been fairly faithful to his sound. Like I said, it, it's not the most innovative sound, but it's one that works for him. And, you know, honestly, I can't fault him for that. I, I enjoy a good portion of his songs. And while I've never really dug into his discography, maybe hearing an album or two, but mainly just the radio singles, I do appreciate what, I, what I've heard from him, and I think that he's an alright artist. So what did we get on Shine a Light? Well, he really stuck to his guns. I mean, he knows what works for him, and as someone who's seeing a lot of these artists that I used to love, a lot of classic rock artists, try to try to move into mainstream, and that's not necessarily a bad thing, trying to innovate and, and modernize your sound. It is nice to at least see an artist who's sticking to what he knows, it's something that works for him, and sticking to his guns, and I think that that's awesome. It's not to say that artists can't modernize or try to make a new sound, but... Someone like Brian Adams, who probably would not successfully make that transition, him sticking to his soft rock, pop ballad sort of sounds, yeah, it, it was a smart decision for him. And honestly, it works pretty well here. Yeah, this is the ultimate love album. This is very, very oriented on, on the subject of love, and especially a more happy form of love. Not, not one that's tired and old, but a very fresh and new romance that that does work it's it works as a as an album yeah i know a lot of people do have problems with albums that are so love oriented and yes obviously it's a topic that comes up all the time but it, it, it's a topic that comes up all the time in day to day life it's a really solid effort and a lot of these songs really work take the title track shine a light it's an excellent song that is very re reminiscent of Ed Sheeran as it was pinned with Ed Sheeran and it, it it sounds a lot like some of Ed Sheeran's best like Castle on the Hill of just that bombastic sort of chorus with some nice soft rock sounds that really do work so well. The chorus explodes and I absolutely love it. It's one of the highlights on this album here because it just works so well. And you know Yes, this album is exactly what you expect from a Brian Adams album it, just pushing him forward a couple years. Yeah, it's nothing. It's exactly what you'd expect. It's him, a little older, so his voice isn't quite as perfect, but that doesn't really take away from anything. His nice, raspy voice really does add an interesting quality to this album that I really do enjoy. It's a really nice dynamic that I did enjoy hearing, and I felt like worked really well for him. His raspy voice really actually complements it, because it adds a, a more personal touch to it, and I don't know. I, it was something that I really did enjoy. Now, something could be said about the production, which sometimes is a little lacking. Uh, it, I don't think that it's always a problem, but there are some tracks that do seem a little more flimsy and cheaply produced, but it it doesn't really stand out, again, because this album really just seems fun. And, yeah, obviously, a fun album that's still bad is is still bad. But in this, Brian Adams is having so much unabashed fun here that I can't fault him for that. It really does work, and yes, there are some problems, which uh, I'm keeping in mind, and I'm pointing out to you guys. But, ultimately, Brian Adams just is having a good time singing about love, and it works really well. He does do a duet with Jennifer Lopez, of all people, which really do kind of mesh their two sounds really well, and I think that that's my ultimate criteria of when does a when does a collaboration work. Um, uh, last year, we had Sting and Shaggy release an album, and while I, I know a lot of people weren't super fond of it, it's an album that really struck a chord with me, primarily because it really successfully blended both of their sounds of, of reggae and a more soft rock sort of sound. It really did blend those sounds really excellently, and I did enjoy it a lot. So I think that that's what makes this duet work really well. 
And plus the chemistry here is very natural. Obviously they're not in a relationship, but the chemistry works and they sell the sentiment of this love song very excellently. And you know, that's about it. Yeah, cheaply produced, not very deep lyrically, and yeah, it has some faults. It's a pair, it's fairly basic and it doesn't really do that much, but ultimately, if you're just wanting something fun, yeah, this is it. And I know that love albums don't always fit in and don't always seem like the perfect time, but if you're in the mood for a love album, yeah, this album's a good album to, to throw on because it really is just so filled with this, this new passionate love and I love it. I, I do really like this album, and, and it works really well. Yeah, it has flaws, but for what it is, it works, and I, I can't fault it for that. Brian Adams did a really good job, and I actually really did enjoy this. It, it, it was a very solid project. So, ultimately, it's fun. It does have some faults. 7 out of 10. What did you guys think of this album? Please let me know down below. Also, is there anything I can do to improve the quality of my videos? I do have a Twitter if you want to go check out the link in the description. As well as I do have um, links to some fellow uh, music YouTubers down in the description. Some people that are really awesome, make excellent content. I really do recommend them. Go check out all of their channels. Besides that, thank you guys so much for watching this video. It really does mean a lot to me, and I'll see you guys later.